Well, it's interesting to see where the gospel has taken our family. I, I never would have thought uh, two years ago, before we moved to Thailand, I never would have thought that we would be over here in Piao making pizza as a way to try to reach out to the community of Piao and, and get to know people in Thailand. But here we are, and you know, the gospel has taken us all over the world, Tanya and I and our family, and now we're living here in Piao running a pizza restaurant and so you know I know maybe you may be wondering why why in the world did you guys choose decide to open a pizza restaurant what what does that have to do with the gospel or with the Bible what does that have to do with Jesus really it's it's um, kind of a complex answer but as simple as possible we after we lived here in Piaf for a little while we realized that we really wanted to be a part of the community we wanted to have a place and a role in society that made sense to people around us, a way that we could connect with others in a natural way, in a way that made sense, and also have a role in society and in the community where we could give back. And so we decided that, that maybe running a business was something we could do. We also thought that we, we really want to, to model the kingdom of God and what that looks like in all areas of life. What does that mean when we live our lives? As, as business owners, we have an opportunity to be different, to do things in a way that, that is a, a godly way and not a worldly way. The way that we act as bosses, the way that we treat our employees, the way that we treat our customers, even down to what we do with the profit from our business. We've decided that because all four of our families who are, who are on the team, we all have support coming from the States. We don't, we don't have to use the money from the restaurant to support ourselves. So we're able to take all of our profit from the restaurant and put it into the community of Piao. And we're able to use that money and that profit to serve people who are in need, to bless those who are on the margins and on the outside, whether it be children whose parents have died from HIV or older um, elderly people whose families who don't have families to take care of them and look after them or kids who live on the mountain that don't have money for school supplies or vaccines and it's been exciting because we've been able to talk to so many people about that that we're, we're able to be upfront and honest and open and say you know we're not getting money from the restaurant we're not getting paid but all of the profit is going back into the community to serve and bless others Right now we have seven girls who work for us and one guy. And our, our prayer and our hope and our desire is that through the restaurant we will be able to share life with these people and with their families. It will give us an opportunity to be spending life on a daily basis with these people, with their families and getting to know them. And, and already just in, in the two short months that we've been open, we've seen the blessings and the answered prayers of of living life alongside other people. And we're getting to pray with our employees and we're getting to read scripture to them and share Bible stories with them. And we're getting to invite them to come to church on Sundays. One of the families has been coming on a regular basis and it's just been exciting to see that already the doors that are opening up to us because of the restaurant. And that's one thing that, that Tanya has said over and over that we see the restaurant, this business, as a doorway into the lives of people here in Piao. It's an opportunity, a way for us to connect with people so that we will have more opportunities to share the gospel, so that we don't, we don't just have to walk around and people say, well, what do you do here in Piao? Why do you live here? And we say, oh, well, we're missionaries. And they say, well, what does that mean? What is that? But that we, we say, well, we're living our lives here and we're trying to honor God. We have a business and we're trying to use our business to glorify God. We're trying to serve God with our lives. We believe in God and we believe He wants us, He brought us here to Thailand, to Piao, to serve and love the people of Thailand. And we're trying to do that in everything that we do, whether it be our children going to school or the way that we run a business or the way that we treat our neighbors or the way that we treat people on the street begging for money, that we are trying to serve and honor God and bring Him glory in everything that we do. And as we say, we run our business to honor God and to follow Jesus, even, even the way we operate our business, that people here in Piao, they have, they have to go to work, they have jobs, they have businesses, that they will see us doing that in our lives and in our business, 
and be able to do the same thing, be able to mimic that. As people come to know God, as people become Christians here in Piao, they will be able to follow our example in their business, whether they have a soup shop or work at the hospital, or maybe they're a teacher at the school, but they see us using our business and our, our job as a way to honor God, and that's something that they can, they can follow and mimic. We're really thankful for the ways that people have partnered with us and prayed for us and, and blessed us to get to this point. And hopefully, we're, our prayer and our hope is that the restaurant here in Piao will just be one small part of our lives and our ministry in Thailand. That right now, it's, it's taking a lot of time and a lot of energy, but already we've seen in the past two months how it's beginning to taper off and beginning to slow down. We're getting in a routine and, and finding a rhythm of life that we can manage. And that this restaurant, this business, will be one, one piece of the greater puzzle, one small part of the picture that is the kingdom of God here in Piao. And that we'll be able to use this as a way to um, open doors for other ministry opportunities and service opportunities for those around us, for our friends and our neighbors and the people here in Piao who are hurting and in need. So we, we ask that you continue to pray for us, pray for creativity, pray for energy, pray for strength, pray for wisdom, and that you would pray for boldness, that when we have opportunities to speak the truth, when we have opportunities to share the gospel and to share the Bible and, and to pray with people, whether it's our employees or our customers or our friends, we, we ask that you pray for boldness and for courage on our behalf, that we would seize those opportunities and step out in faith to do that, to bring the kingdom of God to share the gospel message of Christ here in Piao with the people of Thailand. introduce you to the girl the employees the girls who work here they're gonna they're gonna be pretty shy because they, they don't want to be in front of the camera so we'll see I want to introduce you to all of our employees so this is Yui Yui <laughs> And Yui, she works over here. At the, she have, takes the orders at the register and makes coffee and does all sorts of stuff. This is Ploy. Her name is Ploy. And over here, making the pizzas. Making the pizzas right here. This is Ying. Ying. <laughs> and they're all they're all embarrassed to be in front of the camera. They don't want to talk. So she makes the pizzas right here in the oven. Throws the dough. And everything. We'll go, let's go in the back and we'll see everybody in the back. <laughs> this is Gift. Gift, she helps do everything. I'll help do everything. This is Bow. She's half ninja. She's part ninja. So this is Nip. And over here is Bam. So Nip, come back to me. Come here, Mom. It's in the beach. Okay. I said, how's it working? She said, it's fun. 